and dink, but through the wall. Yeah, just throws him off a little bit. But there's a bit for you. Nice headshot and simple as well. Good combination. The desk just talked about that pairing and how good they can be. Yeah, this is tough now. I mean, the, the bomb site that you've lost access to it. So pissed around ends up being an absolute slaughter. Yeah, Blame F was the one that was off the site early on. He's just trying to rotate back over in that direction. No utility to cover off those choke points and the accuracy. Pretty sharp so far from Navi. So this round, I think, done. We can conclude as Blame F finds yeah. himself in a one-on-five. Katie, and they... I, we were talking a little bit before this match started. Boomich is back, but you mentioned Alexi B was kind of slow his first game with G2, and they went through a similar situation. How do you think they'll be? Because, again, Hetrick was playing in the hotel room for a portion of this as yeah. well. Yeah, I mean, just quickly touching upon Hetrick, struggling, struggling a little bit, and then they brought in Alexi, and people are like, okay, now we'll get them going, but it's not as easy as you might think when, um, when your IGL comes in and you already played, like, three games. Yeah. Well, I guess if it's any consolation, uh, Boomich will be loving the fact that he's had to do absolutely nothing so far. <laughs> yeah. and perfecto in position to get pop flashed in for a little bit of a peek. I love this double play, remember? We saw yesterday, Blame F is very good at doing it as well. We know Perfecto has been playing it oftentimes for Navi, so pretty common, pretty standard. We'll start to see as the utility gets built up, the Molotovs being put in those positions as well to make it awkward for the T's to get out of those angles and that sort of line of sight. Boost instead, though, for Farleg. Naturally, one of his AWP yet, but that doesn't matter because he's got Simple down. Not a bad shot to open up with. Glaive's on 10 HP as well. I was thriving, running around with the AWP, having a great time. We played against Astralis, and we knew that he was really good at, like, pressuring middle, but he was, like, in the window area consistently. So whenever I wanted to move from A to B, I was not able to because he yeah. was just there blocking my, my rotations as an AWP. So... I was completely useless in that game. And, and you never know. The hard part, too, for, for you in that position as well is because Config has such a deep playbook in that part of the map. Like, you never know if he's going to be aggressive like we just saw on flank that A-bomb side. Or... And I think it's one of the mo biggest key components of playing the CC side on Ancient is to be aggressive and be... Yeah, that part of the map gets so suffocating if you have success. Zip's going to lead the way in. He's turned into an entry fragger. The Clutch Minister going in first. He's dropped first as well. Perfecto's got one and still challenging. Doesn't want to swing too wide. He commits there. Traded by Blame F. That's important. And Config now in position again to be aggressive and wrap around, but he's got to wait for the flames to subside. And I think the opportunity's passed, but maybe not. On Fig absolutely nails it. They weren't even expecting him to be in that corner. When he gets vision back, makes no mistake on it. Still, he's going to be stared with the AWP and stare this lane. So this is going to be difficult for Config to go out with that AWP being so closely guarding it. And Config goes down. One, one. <laughs> They've opened up that back door on the Astralis side. At least they get the information for this, though. That's the one benefit of this play. 30 seconds left over. Config still trying to find an entry, and Simple's going to walk out. Zipix, you mentioned it. He's usually going first now. Well, he's the first to fall on the site. Perfecto limited, forced off, and still Astralis find their way in. When, when, when Config gets that kill and Electronics made that play... But yeah, a lot of teams would probably also like use Aegis and like they would yeah. get that kill and they would run out middle and KS it on the A side. And I think both options are viable. It kind of depends on... sacrificing chickens to get these ghost skins without paying for them. Just try to use the GC skin service. Download it for free in App Store or Google Play. It's looking really good on the T-side of Ancient. He picks the first one and again flashed into position, tries to fire the smokes in cave, simple. So good, so fast, up close, doesn't even need to flick, he's just firing that quickly. He goes back around again, Glaive, and he turns around knowing Config's behind them. Hang on, that's three already. He's uncertain as to where the others are, but he's confidently looking for it. He'll go forward of the flames. Don't stand in it for too long, Simple, down to 44 HP, but that's going to push them back away from the site. He did it. He's been doing that his whole get, career, yeah. has he, when he's, yeah. got that, when he's got that kind of a game? Yep. He's so confident, isn't he? Well, the read of Config wrapping around look as well. Look here, like, this is the first kill, right? Now you just need to watch. Look, he's... Yeah, take it up, Dig. Right side is just... It's just exposed, and then this shot. I mean, the, the benefit is, as you say, like, sure, he goes that far. 
Oof. Bits had some horrible timings in this game so far. Smoke's going to give up the game. They call it in. Look for config. Simple rotating over. He's never going to expect it. He's done. Doesn't He's matter out. because here comes the reverse flank. Electronic back on the... A main position, a long position rather, gets the first kill. Bomb is down and ticking, and he knows that. You can see it, but he has to be aware of where those rotations are coming from. So config finally taken. Bit's the one that gets the kill. Glaive has right? to hold this, but smoke going out on it. Caught out. Play Bit was holding the entire time at Donut. Blame F has the kill finally, but he's so far removed. Surely they just get the defuse, and this is done. Yeah, there's no angle for that from that position. It's planted just a little bit too wide for his vision. What a weird, weird round. I like I like I mean, Config must feel... Config's gonna love that. That's the dream. Smoke comes... Oh, he goes through it. What a beast. Wow. What a beast. He's got wow. simple as well. That's beautiful. Oh, if he hits that on Electronic, I just bow down at that point. Electronic gets it back. But you're right. Push that flame a little bit sooner than they were expecting. The eyes were still up toward Catwalk. Farleg's got to be careful here. Is there a flash to go with it this time for Perfecto? There's no one in the sight, so no, there's not. He's got to go alone. He's got a lineup. Oh, Farleg oh. killed Glaive. Oh, he baited him into it. He got away. I thought he got it through the edge of the box, but no. Farleg overreacts, and they have to be gray screened. They can't go through it. Perfecto's giving up all of his ammunition, though. A little bit nervous, I think, in that situation. A little bit blind, I think. I think he's just hoping and praying they're actually going to jump through it while he's spraying down, but this flank could be everything. Farlick's going to come back and check it. One missed shot. Uh, they're going to have a very difficult time uh, dropping it. Let's see you on... You feel so clever and it looks so cool, <laughs> but brings back a bit of the 1.6 nostalgia where everything was paper thin. <laughs> Perfecto makes Zipix look pretty thin. I mean, to be fair, Zipix is pretty thin, but that was uh, nonetheless the play to make, and he Jesus. gets the kill. Simple as well, firing on Farleg. This is a dominant half so far from Navi, as they're looking to go 10 to three. Glaive's the one up middle this time. Only one kill, though, and tagged down to 42, and now they know exactly where he is. Theoretically speaking, by that logic, it makes sense to do the B things, the half, because it's like five against two. Yeah. But Simple has also been standing there at the right time. They don't have a flash, though, to push him off the angle. Config just wins it straight up. Molotov goes deep. That'll put them in deeper uh -oh. to the site. But bomb draw. Uh -oh. Hung forward. Simple controls the destiny of the round at this point in time. Perfecto already aware that they're getting in behind. Simple swinging out from the smoke put inside of ruins. Finds another. Controlling, again, his angles as well as the destiny perfectly. He knows there's likely one to get by. And Perfecto's heard that bomb dropped again. 26 seconds. Round falls apart. Even though they got up middle that time, they still can't get it done. We just mentioned it. Simple and electronic just it being the absolute dagger every time a Strauss is in a perfect or an advantage situation and this time it's yeah. all good points take care of this guy though he's been doing this many times oh can we get the hold trade? couldn't get the double yep config able to slide back in that that has been the cat and mouse game for me this half those two just trying to get control yeah, but Boomich and Perfecto aren't really pressured to make any kind of a crazy player rotation because you've got actually two defenders at this bomb so you got bit and simple and they both have all so they both get a kill that's like the perfect crossfire. They both drop side by side. Like, okay, well, both ops are over here. Let's go elsewhere. Farley's going to try and divide and conquer. Go straight up the middle, but one versus four on an AWP. 16 seconds. This one's done. Gets taken down by Boomich, and it has happened. Uh, poor Zipix. 0, 2, and 14. In the it's interesting because the Ray Boss you typically think is Deagle, but he's going to run the P250 with it. Why not? Config needs oh, to be sharp. That's pretty good for a Glock. To win that one from range as Boomich finds Glaive as well. Bomb gets planted. Zipix is on the board. It only took one round in the second half. He gets his first kill in the game, and he'll want to build on that without a doubt as Blame F comes back in to find Bit. It's Farley that goes down on the site, giving Navi still a chance to hold this bomb off. They've got the man advantage, and, well, make that doubly so. There's no kit yet in play for Zipix. Smoked off as well at Donut. And that actually is counterintuitive and counterproductive for him because that's actually just going to buy them more space and coverage, and through the smoke, they'll get the kill instead. When you're in the server, it's just all that effort and mental draining from just being, yeah. being yeah. Just dealing with yeah. it. Yeah, absolutely. In it. I think Fnatic talked a bit about that too. I talked, I, I, the interviews, I did one with you as well when we were at Blast. We did them for Dexerto and, and we talked to sort of about Kerrigan and Olaf in their career. Hang on, Electronic, shut out this time. We've got a round potentially for Astralis as he walks into the crossfire. I'll come back to my thought because, yeah, he mentioned just the JW aspect and them sort of being the, the villains of the community, and that was tough to and taxing to deal with as Glaive deals with Perfecto, 14-4. So maybe the fully eco was worth it, Kadian. It's a fake, or why is it throwing it from here compared to other positions? Might have just been chilling in position. Good kill from Bit as he enters in. Smoke going to come in late, bounces. That's the smoke. That is the late one. That's a crazy long smoke. But yeah, the timing of it, they entered on it. Might be, I would assume it's just so they can actually kind of 
make it look like a contact play as that smoke's kind of coming in and you're not giving away the game by throwing it from a, a quicker smoke? Yeah, that, that can definitely be true. Electronics going to take the lane as well. They could work together or they can split it. They've got Bit going the other way, all three players on top of them, and yeah. removed just like that. It is map. What is he? He's looking for a smoke or something. Now he's lining up something. Ooh. And the patient pay, pays off. Don't give anything up, but I mean, like, you know, every map has like a play you can make on the CT side when you're when you're disadvantaged. Yeah. Is there, uh, does this map provide some of those openings for, for teams? Yeah, I think you can re aggro middle quite okay from like window and connector or donut or whatever people want to call it. Yeah. I think that's very viable um, to just do it slowly, but um, then again, it's uh, like, you know, on every map, Jason, it's also that kind of mind game thing if yeah. you want to wait or not. And damn, boys. <laughs> yeah, that one was uh, you, fast. You, you invite me for a cast and it's... Yeah, I know, it's the quickest game of the tournament. Either way, we got to quickly go over to Heku because she's going to have an interview with the winners. Hey guys, I'm currently running a giveaway of this beautiful Slipknot Atronic. You can enter the giveaway with the link in the description. And the more entries you complete, the bigger chance of winning the knife you will have. So good luck. Enjoy the rest of the video. I mean, look, maybe we still get three maps, but that first one, uh, Navi just cruised. Boomich has got the opening kill. Simple. Doesn't initially clear, but he does react in time. Farlog doesn't even hit him. Config with one kill. Bit goes down. Zipix. Locker room windows, but Boomich has already made it up top. He missed that timing, and Config falls. He tries to get a little bit more aggressive, make a play to bring it back a little bit more even, and now Zipix position is known as well. Simple takes a few shots at him, and this is awkward. No way for Glaive and Zipix to get working together. They're both under some pressure right now. Glaive swinging around. Good catch on to Electronic. That's going to give them one. Zipix still trying to do battle outside and get toward the bomb site, but he's completely cordoned off because he's got a player in the garage. He's got one of the lockers. His only sense of coverage is that blue box. He needs to get away from that to be less predictably placed, but Perfecto runs him down and round over. He's the last. Uh, love when I try and sound smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, simple is... Uh... He's in a mood today. I think he's having a celebration that he's got his big boy Boomich back in action in the lineup here at ESL Pro League because he is a monster, just walking into entry kills everywhere he goes. Although one player is not going to get away. Config surely going to go down. Farlig. Got to be careful with that opposite bull's going to come hunting. Little jiggle peek and a tap. The bullet goes upwards, and he's still trying to bait out the shot to hunt this down. Farlig is playing a dangerous game because a second player is going to come join up, but Simple calls the hunt off. They know the ops in play. They know Farlig saved it. Flashbang is out, but actually it doesn't bounce into his eyes. Perfecto goes down. Zip is here for support, and so is Blame F. Navi get red, and they get shut down. Electronic swinging around as Glaive meets him and greets him at the door. Not exactly the greeting he was anticipating. He's not welcome inside. Made the journey for nothing. A simple might have something to say about that, though. He's going to barge his way into he's not. Glaive turns around and shuts him out as well. So a way more aggressive mindset and how he wants to play Farley. And some of his predecessors gets the one. Oh, and Simple couldn't land the headshot as him jumping over. They don't want to let him get away, though. Electronic eventually does trade it back, but he made it costly. Took down two with him. Oh, wow. That came out of nowhere. Wow. Bit coming out of hut. He's got two entries. Upper bomb site is, is open for the taking, but Bit's got to hold on a little bit longer because Perfecto had to walk all the way back to get the bomb. Try and keep him frozen here, scared of making his exit because his teammate's coming ever closer, but he just straight up wins it anyways. Yeah, good call on that. Flame F wanting to swing around this smoke, but there's no gap inside of it. He might just use it to be unpredictably in a new position when it does open up and give Vision away. It should be now that he goes, because Simple got one kill on that, though. That's the problem. Flame F wanted to catch him off, but Simple still strikes. And then, despite the Flame F trades him, Bit was ready to strike back. So it could have been a much more efficient situation. Instead, though, falls to a two-on-two. Farlig might give himself up, though. No. This could be okay. Yep, fine. Just totally fine. How about that for aggression, Maui Snake? I cannot believe he hard clear that. What a legend. Bit. One versus two. Bomb in hand. Galil in hand as well. Glaive would be a great find to have. Put Farlig in an awkward situation with the AWP and half HP, but... His headshot percentage is still there. Unfortunately, it's the Galil, not the AK-47, so it doesn't complete the... They want to fight to keep him alive. Simple, trying to pre-fire the angle. Oh, he runs out of bullets as well. Awkward battle. Blame F's going to win it out. He can actually back away now if he wants. He's being cautious, jiggle peeking and pre-firing. He knows there's one more. And Blame F is doing a great job of just being a force to be reckoned with outside. Bit, however, coming up from secret. If Perfecto can hold on a little bit longer, Bit's going to have a great backstab, but there's way too much aggression, way too much pressure. Here comes Bit. Blame F. Spins and looks. Where's he 
going. Okay. Lame after bits. Zipix blinded and through the smoke. Shows off his... Glaive with a number of smokes in front of him. Trying to find an angle. The one gap in the smoke, and that's where they meet. But Glaive gets the better of bit. Blame F has to fade off inside of the entranceway. Farley. All right. Challenge. Where are those? This guy's worse than Lucky fans now, huh? Looking aggressive. No offense, Lucky. Love you. But uh, Farley looking pretty solid right now in this game. Yeah. Cool to see. Like, uh, and the whole conversation around Farley is that he likes to be a little bit more aggressive. And it's nice to see it coming to fruition here. Nice double kill. Nice kill on top of Hut. Ooh, the follow-up would have been great. He actually brings Blame F very low. 24 HP right in the entrance of the Hut. And that means nobody can get out. They're slowed down, which gives Glaive plenty of freedom and plenty of safety. Although he's brought low. Now he's feeling the pressure. No one here to help him out just yet. Oh, perfecto. That's so many bullets missed on a low HP player. That would have been a fantastic kill to have because that would have kept the attention. Simple starting to get toward the ramp. Open the doors at control to give the sense of a possible different approach. And he actually called off Zippus, who was staring it down. Now, he was low HP. That's going to give away the game. You can see how tentative and slow they were clearing the back stairs, though, with those doors open. That gave him the time to isolate Zippus. Trajectory of the nade. Knows one at least was on the stairs, but he'll hear him running back. That's the low HP player. Zippus going to follow it. Oh, he's buying so much time for himself. Follows the footsteps away, knowing that they're going back down to the door. He's hit far leg, and he might not be done with this round yet. Simple with all three, and it's the round to Navi. That's absolutely beautiful. You're exactly right. Just the broken window, the door opening. One more great clutch. Even uh, that's, here's, This yeah. is so smart the whole way through. Like, that is so smart. Everything he did, just enough. Like, the slows them down by opening the doors. Kills Zipix. Oh, you kind of want to throw a grenade through and then run back down? Cool, I'll just follow you. To them to reset outside. Good positioning from Blame have to be forward, but it is very much an isolated position. There's no support for him. Farley does eventually get the kill he was looking for. Smokes it off as well. Blame Was he spotted? He absolutely was. Boomish saw him transferring over and nails the shot. And Perfecto's going to look for the push. He's going to get it. Gun barrel shows. I don't think Farley... Realize that he was spotted out. Seven seconds left on the clock. Perfecto. He doesn't have to really move. He can just hold off on Ben. He spots one more. Goes for the fight. Bomb is being planted. Zipix is here quick, but his teammate is not. His teammate is far away, and that leaves Glaive in a one versus two. Zipix thought maybe he had the time to push forward to stop the plant and just win the round outright by time. He's hoping for a mistake. He's hoping to draw someone out in the open, and it's just not going to happen. Boomich is going to get the final kill, and Navi have a tough time in the middle portion of the half, but they managed to scrape together six rounds. Not bad. Get some information. Big garage. He's aware. Simple's there. Where's the bombs over there? Where he's got problems? Perfecto takes out Farling, and Zipix fell to Simple in the exact timing that that went down, so it's all on the blame F. And I think Navi is about to take their second pistol in this map, which is the interesting aspect. Yeah, I was about to bring that up. Both pistols now go in the way of go find a way to die because there's three players ready to pounce. And indeed, they all swarm afterwards. I feel like, I feel like the duelies would be better instead of like... Blame F brought down to 80s. Everyone softened up. Simple is here for the lineup. The transfer over as Glaive jumps across. Simple has to do a little bit of skeet shooting. Config, the last one left with just a Glock, and Simple's at 23 HP. He's not even going to risk the rifle. His teammate will take care of it. So four frags for Simple, no ace, and Navi is within one. Bit already at the doorway. Glaive's already out. They're going. They're going, and Boomich is not aware already. Couldn't decide which way to look. Perfecto only with one. Zipix has the other, but Perfecto steps up. The M4A4. Happy to have those extra bullets, perhaps, as they try to run him down, but Zipix does sneak in behind and manages the kill. Simple. My goodness, stuck inside him and he no escape now. Locked against the wall, they'll take him out of the rounds and... It was like crazy, crazy recoveries from guys like Simple and guys like Electronic. Simple with some timely triple kills. They won a 2v5 every time. Even getting some chip damage onto Farley. There goes Config, finally cleaned up by Simple through the need. smoke. Yes, it is, and they need a lot more players to survive all the way through the round. That was one Simple might want to have back. Good shot from Farlig over the top, and Blame F still waiting outside of lobby as well. And the lower bomb site has got a kill. So does Electronic. Pit goes down, Farlig the last one remaining. It's eight seconds left. The bomb will get not get planted. <laughs> it was a good try, Jason. Yeah. Blame F trying to find that angle. Smoke to go. 
cover the main entrance. They'll drop a Molotov back down on top of the hut as well. Blame F's going to win Electronics Battle as he's forced out of position, forced out of the corner. Perfecto! He's only got one. He can only look one direction at a time, and they come around from both sides. Simple on the flank. They know he's here, though, because he's already taken one shot. Bomb to be planted. Smoke goes out. He's unaware of the fact that they're staring him down from the box in the corner, and Config wins that. Astralis wins the round. We are two from the finish of this map. Doesn't want to make noise, but wants to close that gap, so Knife walks across the floor, and an easy kill when he gets the catch and taps you. Yeah, Strauss is getting all the reads right now. This is great. This has been a good showing, except for that read. Good shot from Electronic from beneath. Config never expected it whatsoever. Boomich is going to be down here. Great Molotov, but he's close enough to step in front. I think the tick of the Molotov might have given him away, but Blame F couldn't control the recoil as he jumps through the window. Three on two, and Electronic goes down next. He was on point on Ancient. Here, he's getting shut down. Zipix and Farlig to defend. No kit. Here we go. Hawks. They ran a gun in as well. They actually checked it, but they saw and could not deliver as Farlig was able to isolate one. It's going to be map point four. And they're not actually going to go after it. They just want to force the CTs into uncomfortable positions. But uncomfortably, Perfecto has made his way into the lobby. Two kills on the very powerful UMP. Oh. My goodness, Glaive. Not easily able to walk through the door, though. The shot does come back. The problem now is that Simple's left on 24. Just enough time that bomb is going to be planted. And Farlig has 81. The new recruits versus the wily old fox. And Simple is rotating back around. He wants to get up above. He wants to go up the ladder to try and take this site back. Farlig on top of the hut. How does he anticipate this? How does he get the read? Does he consider looking that direction at the right time? And Simple's arrived up top. Easy shot, surely. Easy indeed. Oh, he went for the spray rather than tap, but he'll get it. And we're not done yet. 15 to 10. Spotted him at all yet, and they're going to think this is safe. This could be massive. <sighs> that last player, Farlig. Had to fire at him. Now they know, and they're not gone yet. Come. It's a silencer, man. It's so strong. Yeah, yeah apparently yeah. he didn't call that out. That's ridiculous. Well, it's hard to it's hard to tell as that smoke's clearing where that's coming from. Maybe you're thinking you're just getting shot from from credit, from blue box, from from warehouse. It could have been anywhere in, in theory. So yeah, this up in this sure. game. But one thing that I feel like I don't know if my brain's just only noticing it when it's happening. But so, someone like Bit with like one of the super high headshot percentages, I feel like I, most of the time in the first half I saw him with a Galil. He's been playing with a lot of SMGs in the second half due to the economy situation for Navi. Now he's got a Famas as well, and I want to be like, someone just give him like an AK-47. Oh no! Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! Yep. Four kills. All headshots. Oh my God! Blame F could have clutched out the game right there. Yeah, he could have. Oh, no way. The hot hand contact play out. Squeak door. Perfecto's caught. Boomich has control of Hut, though. But does that actually amount to anything? Can that actually pull them into a victory? Glaive. Oh, little one tap, but it's given away his position for Bit, and now he can toy with them. He has to delay as long as possible. Simple walking in has got one. He's traded off immediately. It's all on Bit. He knows the position of Glaive. He knows where he was. Does Glaive play this? Ooh. Do not get caught with a nade out at this point in time. Not when you know he's already gotten them for the tap with the P250. This is smart from Glaive. Took advantage of pushing him back in that corner, seeing that he was reloading runs. And he's picked up an MP9, which is absolutely deadly against Bit's 49 HP. Smoke's going to try and cover. He's through it. He's heard, though. And Bit will keep this game alive. We go 15 to 12. That took all six bullets left in the magazine for Bit to get that one. One shot missed. But nothing to make this all that disjointed. Here we go. That goes the one above, though. He gets only one. He looks straight down, but the flash is rain in front of his vision. It's Electronic that has to turn, swivel, and pivot on the site to find kills. He manages to do so. That lets Simple get far, like, and it's all on to Zipix. With 38 seconds, he finds himself in a one-on-three bomb. Nowhere near the site, as it is at least in his hands, but not near being planted, as he'll go back toward the door. Boomich is the one that's watching it. Now he knows he's above. He'll stagger the peak. And without the rafters being playable in this side, hasn't been for quite some time, remember. It's more difficult for the Heaven to respond, so he's trying to isolate that shot before getting counter-peaked or getting doubled, but they're going to back off, so he has to go wide, and when he does, they greet him with a bullet. Away from ramp room to help come deal with this. Oh, that's huge. That is so massive. Perfecto trades back, but Config with another one. And uh-oh, here we go. This is not good for Navi. Oh, me, oh, my. 
Simple removed. Config the follow up. AWP in their hands. Boomich has already gone running, trying to swarm this lower bomb site. And here comes the play. Farleg trades again, but bomb dropped temporarily. Boomich knows where it's gone down. They don't yet know where Config is coming with that AWP. And Boomich not seeing anything once those doors shut, so he can make a play confidently on either side. Bomb will get safely put down on the site. This is difficult. This is desperate. Perfecto holds out on Playmath, who gets aggressive. Second player spotted. And Boomich just trying to keep himself in contention here, not to be isolated. Farleg, he wants to play it on the door so that when it opens, Boomich will be on the other side, but he gets the read instead. It's all down to that AWP that was picked up from Simple, and it's not going to get the kill to defuse to come in. We have used all 30 rounds. Crazy little retake. That is a lovely shot to trade it back. Glaive with accuracy as ever. And now Config strikes dropping down. Electronic trades that. We sit to a three on three, but Blameth finds him and the bomb downstairs. Bitch gonna get caught out. He walked too far forward. And Inferno looking likely because Perfecto is far from the picture. He has that kit, as we mentioned, but only the one flashbang. Turn in the corner. Looking for a mistake, looking to grab one. They're not gonna peek. Not this time. They learned their lesson in the previous round. Quick peek, and down he goes, trying to break out the window. Blame F confirms it. What a turnaround from Astralis, who were absolutely nowhere on map one. But Jason, they've come back. Down towards CT spawn, fast flank. Perfecto just checked it, but he didn't see anything. That's going to allow Config a lot of space. That's going to let Blame F, though, unchecked as they try to boost. He doesn't get up on top of the pot, though. He doesn't get a chance for the clean shots. Config instead will take a bit. Watch Perfecto. This is quite a nice crossfire set. The interesting thing in this is that they aren't alone, these two at the back of the site. They've got Boomich as well in the corner. So is it going to be checked? I mean, they've already cleared out the banana. They have to be back there. They have to know that all three of them are there. Where's Boomich? Got to be in the last corner they'll go to. And down he goes. Astralis picking up where they left off in the last map. This is a real chance that they could sneak this series without the map we thought was key to it. Drops, drops. Yeah, that was, that was a sick round. Glaive takes out simple bits, is the one to respond into that, but there the trades equaled again, and it's actually a two-man advantage now for Astralis. It's weird, I haven't done a speed cast since probably like 2016, Jason, and I feel like I'm talking so slowly now after doing it. Yeah, you were cruising there for a minute. You, you got up to pretty good WPM. WPM, they pay me by the word, so I'm just trying to be efficient. It's true, yeah. So Glaive on wrap side, Config up in halls. Farleg at the bomb site itself. Config's gonna get pulled away. Good kills from Glaive, stepping through the smoke. Navi never saw it coming. Farleg goes down, but you won't expect Config up this close. Bits in trouble. Utility coming out, Config doesn't want to push with it. Here comes Perfecto, driving up lane. Not seeing anything just yet. Perfect pop flash, and inside the bomb site, they go down. Config from the railing does it all. 5-0. Wow, where is Navi gone? This is outrageous, considering how solid the first game was for them. Like, this is just... I get a few kills to force rebuys to spend some of that cash. Electronic jumping around with the Tech-9, making himself a difficult target, does end up burning Blame, burning blame F. But Zipix is here to recover. Perfecto up next. He's found Config, just gaming, moving forward. Gonna be smoked off for the moment. Then 12 HP left. 12 indeed. Perfecto inside of the site already, but stuck inside of the smoke has Glaive to take him down. Where is the opening? Where is the power plays that Navi are known for on this map of exploiting and cutting off early rotations? They're not even getting the picks, and Bit is a bit screwed. That's a bad smoke as well if you want to try and get that bomb planted. That's so deep in now. No one's really flirting with it. Farley's going to get the final kill. That's the sound of the police. <laughs> Heard all I got for that one. Zipix. He's got electronic already. Has to back off towards CT. And as he does, Blame F walks out and takes full advantage of the situation. The pistol's not going to amount to much. And it'll be eight to nothing now for Astralis. <laughs> uh, nice opening. Finally, finally a little bit of a positivity towards Banana. Oh, and Config tries to change things up with a push. Glaive is next, but uh, once his teammate goes down, he decides he doesn't want to mess with it. I think if Config gets a kill there, the follow-up push from Glaive to that mid-smoke is super, super impactful. So Navi wants to attack into the solo player, but that's Glaive right there. Zipix up on top. Boomich never expected it. He has, does have his first kill. Oh, the swing. He's got another one somehow, some way. But Electronic is going to cut this map and half and cut off these rotations. That's the key. I was going to say, this is the first round we've started to see some intuition from Navi because Electronic, as you say, Bla Glaive knows that's the key, that that flash came out. He immediately retook that position, knowing that, all right, you flashed, you peaked. Take the opportunity of the IWP reload to close the gap, and that might be a bit too much.
much, too ambitious, and just a small mistake, and Simple's gonna make you pay. However, Hang on, bomb. Yeah, the bomb is dropped. Simple. Simple. Did great work. Okay, he's got a back lave. Managed the one kill they thought they needed, but Simple's come alive. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I was worried because Glaive had such low HP. I wasn't sure if he was going to want to take that fight again, but, uh, you know, oh well. But, uh, yeah, no, obviously B was not working out for them at all, so this this is a much better round. I mean, I say that. Last round, it still went B as well, but they executed it by getting Electronic up. It was a decent attempt of movement from Bit to swing with the flash and deter the aim, but it wouldn't be enough. Config in the corner, and Farling's got another on top of it. Simple though, sneaking in behind, can't hit the shot. Didn't expect Blame F to be there. Knows where they're going to be peeking from, but not able to combat all three peaks as Glaive finally gets in thirds of charm. And it looks like Astral is finally going to find that ninth round, although Perfecto's got two in this. Well, it's off to be thrown. That's going to be difficult as he bait them back into the shot. Farlix forward of it. Knows that he's likely to be there, but isn't ready for it. And it's over. It's 93. Blame F. Going to be pushing down mid. Navi, that run goes for a change of pace. Well, it's Astralis' turn to change the pace of their defense. All the way down, Blame F has two. Simple. Can't handle it all. And there goes Boomich as well. Config. Oh, he sees the barrel. He sees the barrel. They jump around. He holds it. Can't control the spray well enough. One player, Glaive, behind the hay cart, trying to find his timing. Oh, he's been spotted. He creeped out a little bit too wide. He's got the first over the top. It's low HP on Perfecto. That's the two health. And there's Zippix all on Boomich. They shut down the hit. Glaive, it was sketchy. It was not perfect, but it was enough. And Boomich has got to go to the other side of the map. Can you spell that out for me? That'll be my new stage name. Okay. The talent. Well, it's Boomich trying to do it again here. Hold on, two HP. He somehow survives that first attack. Flash out as well. Oh my God, if he had hit the headshot right there on the repeak, that would have been remarkable. He's still using this box directly. Hard to see over it though, so does Glaive elect to crawl. Oh, no Doesn't way. Even matter, Boomich. That is ridiculous. That is the thickest round you'll ever see. He's, he's doubled his kills in Poor Clap, just seeing Glaive's reactions to that last round again. He's like, man, oh man, I mean, what can you do? Well, they respond well, so far at least. Boomich this time is gone. Simple still with 10. We've seen him clutch and get three kills with three. It wasn't really a clutch. I should, I should correct the you know terminology. But clutch, considering the situation of him being on three, it was pretty magnificent. So he got that round, and then the two HP win. Nades to close this one out. Simple gets destroyed. So we have our halftime score. It's 11 to four. A little bit closer than you would have thought, despite of Inferno. And this has consequences. Sure. Oh, good shot. Simple, he returns favor from the opening. Pistol. They're gonna get aggressive. Perfecto on a config. Bits. I'm like, okay, yep, they're they're back now, Jason. They're in this game. <laughs> I was gonna say this has consequences because it gives Astralis a much better chance to advance in the group, despite a lot of the other statistics and needing other teams to win. Whereas it also puts Navi in a weird position if they don't win this, and then let's say they lose to Heroic tomorrow. Yeah. And simple is in position. Three players here. There's the first kill. He's going to go for more. Misses the opportunity, but Perfecto has found Blame F. Farling with that 3 HP still alive. Somehow dodges all the bullets coming into the smoke as well. Config backing up his teammates, but there's no access. There's no step forward. There's no realistic progress onto the bomb site. And flying Boomich. That could be so that dangerous. landed really tantalizingly close. Simple, maybe not though, because we're seeing him look behind, but they're gonna wrap around. They're trying to get an angle on it. He's got Zipix down. I, hard to say, we need to see it from his perspective. Either way, the kills are amounting right now, and yeah. the time as well for Navi, the round gone, as it's now 11 to nine. If there was a gap, it didn't even have an impact on the round. Good work from Electronic with the AUG in pit. There's only one player at this B bomb site. They see Boomich is dead. They know Simple is generally the third player at this bomb site. So why not go test him? Test Perfecto. Test this follow up flashbang. That was a little bit too early of a peek for Perfecto, but he still lands a headshot. He's got to find more. He needs another, and he's got it. It's such a common position to play, and it's so hard to deal with without the appropriate utility. They're still going to sneak inside of the site. Perfecto's ready. No, he's not. Blame F. But he's left in the open, and Bit gets the shot in return. We saw the off-site shot as well as Simple was able to collect, leaving us with just Zipix, and he now found by Simple as well. 12 to 11, an immediate response from Na'Vi. You have to imagine through the mid-smoke as well as this hit comes in. Oh, Electronic, big job to do. Blinded. Blinded, but they peeked before it, so he knew exactly what was coming. He was able to get the intel before his vision was obscured, and the bomb is tantalizingly close to the center of Simple's crosshair. Oh, Farley, I'll give him credit for that one. Simple slides out and he gets the shot. They know he's there. Electronic hasn't left the graveyard position. Farley's still trying to find him as well. 
Can't really do anything about that position, though. You have to handle the teammate. You have to handle them quickly. Simple's op is here as well. Plenty of utility to make a pretty dangerous set piece, a pretty dangerous execute. Bit's gonna preemptively drop the smoke, turn to the corner. Good trade, important trade. Bit's still alive. Oh, he's got another one. Excuse me, that was Simple. And Simple's moved into the site. That's so quick. Oh. <laughs> Banana, blame F. Still trying to get an angle. Oh my goodness, config. There's what we need. There's the entry they need. Simple though, here. And oh my God, he's so quick. This time comes back around. Can't find the second, but knows they're gonna be approaching. <laughs> he nails Farley. He's not done there. Oh, he is. Zipix finally, and just barely gets an angle over top. As it looked stunning to start it off, but that's gonna buy Boomich time and space to come back over Bomb Planet. He knows he's gotta be on the site, and he'll catch Zipix out. Blame F. Bomb is planted for him. He can play this side to swing out and get the immediate diffuser. But Perfecto up above has the same angle down the lane, so they can get on this and try and bait him back into position. That's exactly what they're going to do. Is he going to spot the diffuser first? Not a chance. Perfect setup from Perfecto. Sometimes all you can do is laugh when you see the things that Simple's able to do. That is an incredibly difficult shot, the first one. The second one on top of the hay cart. No scope. Oof, that nade. That's lovely. About as good as it gets. The paper thin walls of the apartment straight through the drywall as he just needed a pixel to spot inside of the doorway. Boomich pushed down, Farley gone. Turn of events, you said they weren't gonna get ag aggressive. Boomich has certainly found the time to strike. Smoke to the archway, they're gonna go around 18 seconds to try and get this on the site and Pitt is in a perfect position and Pitt having not moved. Reveals his position now. But that just gives information to Electronic who's gonna spray down the first bit, pops up for the second and blame F will be blamed last. 16-13, good comeback from Na'Vi, not only in this game, but in this series, considering they won 16-3 or something ridiculous.